Hi, I'm Adam Drake from Mugen Siki Racing, and today I'm going to show you a little trick that I do to kind of make my servo wires a little bit cleaner and nicer uh, for when you fit them into the radio box. You can also use this for your 10 scale vehicles just to make the wire routing a little bit nicer and more organized. Okay, so here we have a high tech 9360 servo, and as you can see, the servo leads pretty long. So on the Mugen vehicle, the throttle servo sits very close to the receiver box. So you only probably need about two to maybe three inches of wire before it plugs into the receiver. So you have this additional, I don't know, six, seven inches of wire that you have to kind of stuff into the receiver box. And it can be kind of difficult, you know, bunching it all up and it's, it just looks messy and is, is a bit of a pain. So this servo I already have done. Again, I have the three inches or so that it takes for the uh, wire to get from the servo into the receiver box. And then as you can see here, it's very nicely coiled up. And the way you can do this is really, really simple. You can just take um, like a two millimeter driver. You can even use a sway bar. Uh, pretty much any uh, two to two and a half millimeter shaft. And it's as simple as just taking the wire and coiling, coiling it around the shaft of the uh, driver. And there you go. Just uh, makes it a lot nicer and neater. Um, again, you can also do this for your 10 scale vehicles just to make the routing of all your wires a little bit cleaner and nicer.